subscribe to my channel. I just want to say thank you for everybody who has liked, shared, and subscribed. I want to encourage you to continue liking, sharing, and subscribing so that we can have more content coming from your girl, KK Slays. So I'm back again with another video, and as you can read from the title, I'm just going to share with you some tips on bettering your skincare routine or helping your face to shine more. This is going to be a two-part video because as I have my phone here looking at my nose, I do have 12 tips. So I'm going to split them up for you guys. I'm going to do six now and of course six in the second part. So after I did my um, Clean and Clear review, I really thought that if I should help in order to help people with the little knowledge that I know because I do not like claim to be like a skincare whatever it is. Um, I decided to just some of the tips that I use that I have that have worked for me and could work for other people. Like I mentioned if you watched my previous videos that I do have sensitive skin, so I do pay very attention and very close attention to the products that I use and the products that I put on my face to clean my skin. So because of that, I have come up with some tips and tricks along the way to ensure that my skin is indeed healthy and how to avoid breakouts and those kind of things. So this video is just going to be giving you, sharing some of the tips that I have with you because I want us all to be great together and all of us to have beautiful, glowing, amazing skin. So let's get into it. Um, so my first tip is to wash your face with a cleanser daily. Um, it's, you can throw water on your face when you're bathing, but it's always important that you use a cleanser. Why? Because when you wash your face with a cleanser, a cleanser is able to go deep into your pores and really clean out that dirt and grime buildup that's in your face. So if you have a cleanser, you're able to truly wash your face and get and that gets rid of all the dirt. Because you know if you have dirt buildup or oil buildup on your face, then that can lead to acne and breakouts and all that kind you want to make sure that you wash your face with a cleanser and of course the cleansers that target acne these kind of things if you wash your face with a cleanser like that and you have acne then you are literally hitting the nail on the head washing your face with a cleanser so if you haven't as yet add a cleanser to your routine and see the difference it makes in the healthiness of your skin i'm looking down because i got my phone with my nose so the second thing is to pick a cleanser or face wash that's right for your skin type. So as I mentioned in previous videos as well, so you need to go watch my other videos, I have combination skin. So I tend to run very oily in my teeth so when, and around the rest of my face areas are very dry. Like there's no oil production there at all. So I have what's called combination skin. So I use, the face wash that I use um, is the Clean and Clear Duo the Day and Night package. And those products are both oil free because I'm not trying to add any more oil to my face because my face produces a lot of oil in this area. So because of that, I use an oil-free skin um, facial cleanser. But some people, are they have dry skin, which means you need to use a face wash that has moisture or claims to have moisture or rejuvenating properties for your skin. So you need to know your skin type. This is very important. Even before you get a cleanser, you need to know what your skin type is like so that you know which cleanser to go by. So I have combination skin, so I tend to stay from the stuff with oil. Of course, you must have some moisture because you do want to make sure that your skin is moisturized, not only with the natural oils that your face makes, but with other um, moisturizers as well. But I don't use something that has a lot of moisturizing properties because my face by itself makes that. So ensure that you know your skin type so that when you Go to purchase your cleanser you can use a cleanser that's right for you cleansers are different and they're made for different reasons so the main thing is making sure that you buy something that works for you my third point is do not under any circumstance use a wash wrap or a towel to wipe your face you can use it one time and after you use it throw it in the wash wash it again and then if anything else do not use it. because especially the towel that you use so or wash out your face wash your skin or dry your skin with, that's very unhealthy. That has a lot of, you're literally wiping off the dirt and germs from that wash wrap and that towel. So it's very important that you don't take that same dirty towel and then wipe your face. All you're doing is taking the dirt from your body and putting it onto your face. And that is not healthy for your face at all. So by any circum, by no circumstance, please don't want to wipe your face with a towel 
don't like the pizza rush wrap. So what I would recommend is my is using what we guys call every paper towel bum tea. But you use bum tea or some type of paper towel, any brand of paper towel that's comfortable to you. And you wash your face, you wipe your face with that after you would have washed it. Do not use a wash um, rag or a towel. So my fourth point, and this is on the same line of the paper towel, is to pat dry your face. So while you have now learned and are now using your paper towel, do not rub your face. Do not let it just wipe. What you do is you take the paper towel and you pat. You don't want to have your makeup and your stickers if you use. Your face, do the same thing after you wash it. When you're finished washing, do not ever just drag the stuff on your face, but instead pat to dry your face. It makes such a big difference where you're not wiping your face, which means that irritating the skin after you have already washed it. So just go ahead and pat dry your face. My fifth point is to always moisturize your face once you're done. Like I said, some moisturizers do have, um, sorry, some face washes do have moisturizing properties, but a lot of them can leave your face, some of them leave your face very, very dry, like as soon as you don't have to put moisturizer. Some of them do not necessarily leave your face as dry, but you feel like there's something missing after using this product. So you have to ensure that even if it has, even if you have dry skin, so you use a facial cleanser that has moisturizing properties, it's always important to use a moisturizer. Find some kind of lotion. There are all good lotions out there. There's Aveeno, there's Uberderm, Ponds, there's Olay. Whatever brand you like, use it. But make sure that you wash your, um, you moisturize your face with that once you have done washing your face. You need to put back the, um, the moisturizer that you want to take off. Because remember, it's cleansing your face. So while it has some moisturizer, it probably is going to make your face be nice and smooth and clear and all that good stuff. You still have to make sure it has moisture because if your face is dry, it can lead to cracks and patches in your face and that's what we're trying to avoid, right? And my sixth point and my last point for this part one of the video is to use SPF. So what this means, SPF by the way, is sunscreen. So there was this myth that I do growing up and I'm growing up and I show a lot of friends who are growing up with that black people or people with melanin don't necessarily need to wear skin care. Not skin care, what am I saying? Don't necessarily need to wear sunscreen. And as I grew older, I realized that that was a myth within our community. Sunscreen protects us from the UV rays from the sun. So why would we not wear it? Um, ah, somebody tell me. Anyway, um, also comment below if you grew up thinking that because you were dark, you did not have to wear sunscreen. Anyway, so sunscreen protects us from the sun. So it's very, from the sun's rays. So it's very important that you wear sunscreen. One, I mean, right now we are home, we are inside, so we're not going on the road as often. But once you know you're going to be in the sun, it doesn't even matter if you're not going to do it. If you're going to work, if you're going to church, whatever it is, use sunscreen. What I recommend, I would use Olay, which has um, fit, um, SPF 15 in it. So I would recommend if you do not want to layer, um, sunscreen and then moisturizer because that can become thick and very uncomfortable for your face. Then buy a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it. I can recommend only because that's what I use. It has SPF 15. That's also very good for me. There's also this locally made cocoa butter um, in the end. If I can find my, I will like insert a picture here. And um, that has SPF 15, I think, as well. And that's very, I bought it on the store on Regent Street. I can't remember the store. It was Indian owned store. Um, but yeah, and the product was locally made as well, as well and it had SPF. So please remember to use your sunscreen. It protects you from the sun's harmful rays. And of course, the sun um, rays on your skin can dry your skin, crack your skin. You do not want those things. So thank you guys for watching part one of my video. I'll be back next week with part two. So please ensure that you stick around. And of course, if you like this video, then leave a like comment let me know if you do any of these tips comment and let me know if you incorporate any of these things into your skin routine and of course please subscribe to the channel i can only be here can continue to make content if i have people watching it so until next week i am your girl take it please